Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I want to um, answer uh, Vinay's question. So uh, about that um, um, a video we did uh, previously. So day A seven three. It's about a an array and and with offset parameter. So um, I didn't. Um, explain that well and also uh, it uh, there's uh, some issue when um, when we have both um, um, number of array and the radius of array as well as um, offset um, and it, yeah it won't work so today I'm going to show you how to fix that okay so so first I just want to um, just create a generic model so it's very simple uh, uh, let's create just create a box okay so I'll just do an extrusion and also I'll just draw, draw a box there okay so this is the family we're going to uh, array okay so now create another one Cre create another family generic model and okay so now we're going to load this box into the other one okay so look uh, i'll just load it here so last time uh, when i did explain this one i just draw i draw uh you know, like some reference line and create a radius so i'm just going to explain to you what, uh, what happens so when we try to you know create this so for example this is of offset so i'll just create an offset uh, parameter and then also if I create a radius, so AR array, so use this array, radial um, uh, array space. Maybe I'll just, oh, actually, hang on, let me just move it down. So I'll just move it down here. So AR space and go up here. So maybe I'll just type in 90 degree and then type in three, all good. So now we have one, two, three. And also we have this radius parameters. I'll just call it RR instance, and also we can create we can uh, create a number parameter. So we can go here. So this is a number and O. Okay, instance as well. So now we can uh, what we can do is we can um, we can create or oh, how how control Z. Sorry. So we need to uncheck that. So when we change the number so okay so it's within this uh, 180 degree um, angle so now what, what we can do is we can use a formula so we can control depending on the radius we can uh, we can have we can have a um, different number of this uh, uh, box so for example when we have two meter radius we can somehow have more so we can just put a formula there. So, but the the issue we are going to talk about today is this. So, because if if you want to offset the whole um, array, so all these box, uh, we how can we do it? So previously, I think uh, we can just align somehow align them onto this reference plan, and we can just adjust this. So. AL and we can so for example this reference plan and then so there's something some see this we yeah it looks like we can just lock them onto it but when we try to and even you can say you can move you can move this but if you go to here offset um one five okay it works five yeah it works and um okay so now see here when we, when i try to change the radius here it won't work okay so this is an issue issue <laughs> okay so let's try again so this offset work the radius that doesn't work no doesn't work and if i 
so somehow um, if I unlock this one so uh, how can I unlock it <laughs> oh, maybe I'll try delete this offset and and then go back um, change the change the radius okay so that doesn't work um, maybe so maybe change this one and break break the constraint okay so yeah so yeah I'm not sure <laughs> I'll change this back to radius doesn't work I'll delete this and change this back to radius okay so it works and then yeah the issue is so when we have that uh, reference plan and when we can use offset parameter so this radius doesn't work and so now what we need to do is we need to achieve these two parameter both work how can we do that so it looks like fine oh, oh good so you can change you can you can change it and then oh sorry i haven't lock onto it lock so you can it looks fine right so you can change it move it and then this becomes uh, it won't work somehow see so okay now let's fix this so what we can do is so let me just remove oh, not this radius but this reference plan and then I'll just move the whole thing okay so move the whole thing down to here so just use this as a you know a, or a origin point or um, yeah base point and then only in this family only we only have the number so we don't need this offset so maybe I'll just delete this okay so make sure this um, radius works right and also number work and then we can just create a new family generic model and okay so load this family into the new family I'll just place it here so now in this family draw a reference plan do a dimension and create a parameter let's just call it offset instance okay and al align and align the whole thing onto this reference plan so now select this family so because previously we have this radius and the number here so now we can just link this parameter so i'll just call it radius again okay instance okay okay the same just uh, uh link this number so I'll just call it number okay instance okay and okay so now we have all three parameters so radius offset and number so we can we can uh, we can adjust them see offset as well okay so and so basically we load this into this family nest uh, this box into this family to create this array and then uh, nest this family into this one to have this offset so this is how we can fix um, this issue okay so um, now we can just I'll just create a project and then just uh, load this family into the project and then so this is the family okay so see offset offset and then uh, radius oops sorry wrong one <laughs> radius and also um, number so of course if 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 we uh, we add the formula into the number so it, this number can be controlled by um, the radius okay so or yeah with uh, maybe we can add another spacing um, parameter so we can use that to control the number okay so this is it um, hope I hope this uh, explain this um, if 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 you have uh, sorry 
I don't know how to pronounce the name, Vinay. Vin um, I hope this uh, um, uh, explains your question. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, so thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.